Lawsuits are piling up tonight against Mount Carmel Health Systems, and tonight we are learning new details about more patients who might have died under Dr. William Husel's care. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Colleen Marshall. I'm Mark Taylor. We now know over three years the now fired doctor ordered possibly deadly doses of pain medicine for at least 34 patients. And we have team coverage tonight. Our Dan Perlman talked to the attorney for the family of one woman who died nearly four years ago. But first, Tyler Carter is live at Mount Carmel West with more from the family of another patient who apparently died minutes after receiving potentially lethal medication. Tyler? Yeah, the latest lawsuit filed against Mount Carmel Hospital and fired Dr. William Husel that was filed today. The family of 57 year old Dre May Hodge says they never expected that her death would be a part of a wrongful death lawsuit. Wrongful death lawsuits continue to be filed against Dr. William Husel, a former Mount Carmel critical care doctor and intensivist. As the latest comes from 57 year old Dre May Hodge, better known as Sue, to her family. I talk to my mom every day. You know, I, was, I drove across country, I talked to her for hours. You know, whenever I would just get, you know, she was my best friend. Four out of five of Sue's sons spoke to the media with their attorney David Schroyer Monday about the medical attention their mother received while under Husel's care. According to the complaint, on April 1st, 2018, Sue was taken to Mount Carmel West Emergency Room for having shortness of breath. Tess later ruled out any signs of a heart attack, but shortly after, she was brought to the ICU. The Hodge family says that's when they had their first encounter with Dr. Husel. Stephen specifically asked, is there any chance that she could recover? And his, his response was, there's no chance. We've discovered that the amount of fentanyl that was administered was 800 micrograms. And in addition to the 800 micrograms, uh, six milligrams of Versed was given. Schroyer says experts say anything over 200 micrograms of fentanyl is lethal, as well as no more than two milligrams of Versed, which is used as a calming agent. Sue's death records say she died from diabetic complications. Why? Why would you do this to such people? You're supposed to be trusted. And Troyer says more lawsuits should be expected to be filed this week. But I want to go ahead and toss it over to Dan Perlman, who also spoke to an attorney of another patient today. Dan? Yeah, Tyler, the latest in this string of wrongful death lawsuits was filed here at the courthouse earlier today on behalf of the family of Norma Welsh. The attorneys for the families tell me that uh, Welsh was a patient at Mount Carmel back in 2015. They say she had pneumonia and she was under the care of Dr. Husel. That's when they say the doctor ordered a 400 microgram dose of fentanyl for Welsh, as well as a 500 microgram dose, both administered minutes apart. The lawsuit states those doses are what killed her. They had to uh, be approved by the pharmacist. They were administered by the same nurse. Uh, so one can't help but wonder what the intention of the physician was. And Ann Valentine, the attorney who you just saw there, told me that the statute of limitations for filing a wrongful death lawsuit here in the state of Ohio is two years, but she does expect that to be extended in all of these cases where it may be necessary. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. All right, Dan, thank you for that update. Now, Dr. Husel's history with Mount Carmel Hospital dates back to 2013. We now know he completed his residency at the Cleveland Clinic and had no inappropriate prescribing history from 2008 to 2013. The first patient death in this case was in March 2015 at Mount Carmel West. It was not until October of that year, 2018, that the hospital got the first formal report of concerns about the doctor's practices. A second report was filed in November, and then a third two days later. That's when Dr. Husel was removed from patient care, and he was fired on December 5th. And on Friday, the state of Ohio suspended his medical license. You can count on NBC4 for continuing coverage of these lawsuits. Everything we know so far can be found on our website, NBC4i.com, including a complete timeline of the investigation and of all the actions taken to date by Mount Carmel Hospital.